Welcome to this brief webinar by Mike Wood. I am going to take you through and show you how to create a aesthetically pleasing blog post in your blog. So in the builder, if you come over here to the left hand side to posts, right up toward the top you'll see posts over there and if you hover over that you'll see options for to go to all posts, to add new, look at categories or tags. Well, generally we're going to go to all posts or we're going to add a new post. And so if we click on this add new, open that in a new tab, that brings open a post window like this. We have a section for a title and once we enter a title in here, You'll want to use a, a relevant keyword to the topic that you're putting in. Once you put that in there, the permalink will take up, uh, it will be created based on that title. Then we can come down here and input our content. Now with this content section, you have a visual and a text option. So right at the top right of that um, box of text there, we can either be on visual or text. It defaults to visual. The text option will allow us to put in code, HTML code, that will format our, uh, our table. So if we wanted to put text in here, and let's just say that we're going to put in a paragraph of text, and we're going to write all kinds of really important and valuable quality content and information in here about our product, right? We're going to enter down and we're going to put some more content in here and have another paragraph of content. And then we want to put some images in here to make our images or to make our um, content look good, right? And so we want to, to break it up a little bit, put some images in there. And so we'll, I guess I'm not putting spaces in enough in this. Anyway, there's our, our content. So what if we want to put an image right over here? We can come in here to add images, select from our categories, and select an image, and insert into post. So that's just our, our media library, any images we've already uploaded. We click on an image and go down to the bottom right there, insert into post. And that will put the image into our post. However, I just realized I'm in the text. There we are. So now, if we want to move that, and let's say we want it right here, and let's say uh, we want it to have the text float around it. Okay, So there we've created some content, and our, uh, our image is sitting over here. And so we've got it the way we want it. We, we like this. How does it look? So we go up here to preview. That opens in a new tab. And we preview our content. and it's no longer aligned the way that we wanted it, right? And that's typical of the uh, the blog um, formatting. And so what we need to do is instead of putting this content uh, in to the visual here, we need to create something with code that tells it to, to look like a table. So I have created a document that I will link down below so that you can access this document. And what you can do is just copy the code that has been created. So anything below this line. So we can just start copying right there, scroll down. So I've highlighted the first part of it. We scroll down and hold the Shift key on our keyboard, and then click right after the last part of the code there. So start highlighting the beginning of it, scroll down, hold Shift, click. It highlights everything in between. Then we can copy that, and we can come over and paste that into the text. We have to be on text and not visual. And that's going to put in the code here. And then we look at the visual, and now we have formatting. And you can go in and edit this however you want. You can change the images. We can change the size of the, the image. If we want to make that a little smaller, we can make it a little smaller. Uh, we can update anything that we want to there. Okay. I just noticed that changed the uh, image itself. That was interesting. 
Uh, but you can change uh, all of that uh, and and edit. Now you can go in and do further editing. We can go in and we can tell how many columns we want to span per row. Uh, we can put the size of the uh, image in there if we wanted to, change the, the sizing. In order to learn some of that, you will have to learn a little bit of HTML code. And there's a great website for that called w3schools.com. And I have that linked in my document that will be available for you. So you'll be able to go there if you'd like to learn more about um, tables, HTML tables, and any of that uh, uh, kind of information. But at least with the the content I've provided for you, you can go in here, you can replace uh, the stuff that's here. So if we want to replace this image, we click on it so that you see the little uh, <clears throat> outline around it and the little white squares at the corners. And then we go to Add Media and we say, okay, I want this one in there. And generally if it has a title in here, we want to change that and put alt text that carries our keyword um, related to the image. But then we can replace that image right there. Okay, and so you can replace the images. You can copy and paste text into these uh, cells and areas, and that way create a blog post that works for your website. And then once you have put the content in there, you can save the draft for later, or you can publish it. Or instead of publishing immediately, you can schedule when you want to publish the blog post. So review this video and that will help you go through and understand how to use this template to create an aesthetically pleasing blog post that will look better than the, uh, the one that doesn't have formatting. I hope you loved the video. I'm looking forward to creating more for you. Please click the thumbs up below the video and click subscribe to the channel so that you can receive more updates.